Armin Mice ate a total of 44 pounds of human flesh and as far as I'm aware cannibalism is still legal in Germany to this day. Hey guys, so before I start this video I just want to advise you please don't eat. Don't eat throughout this video because it's just disgusting, okay? And I'm gonna say from the beginning names, I'm gonna butcher them, definitely. Known as the Rottenberg Cannibal or the Master Butcher, Armin Miles killed and ate a willing victim named Burnt Brands in 2001 before storing the leftovers for 20 months in a hidden freezer. Armin Miles spent much of his youth devouring German fairy tales. He was particularly fond of Hansel and Gretel and the evil witch who abducted two children to fatten them up for slaughter. With a lifelong urge to eat somebody himself, Armin found a willing participant online who agreed to have his penis cut off and eaten. God knows who would agree to something like that, but anyway, that's what happened. The horrific incident in March 2001 left Germany in shock and made Armin infamous as the Rottenberg cannibal. Armin Mies was born on 1st of December 1961 in Essen, Germany. He was the only child of uh, Waltrud Mies and he also had two older half-brothers from his father's previous relationship with another woman. His father abandoned Armin when uh, he was only eight years old, taking his half-brothers with him leaving Armin to be raised only by his mother, Waltrud. He was raised in a 44-room farmhouse. As a child, Armin, he was just like most children of his age. He loved animals, he found country life idyllic, but he was badly bullied at school. And he would later become obsessed with true crime and carnal taboos. As an adult, Armin was a computer repair technician who mowed his neighbor's lawn, he helped friends fix their cars and hosted dinner parties. So it kind of seemed like, you know, he was just like, just a normal adult, right? So I guess, like I said, on the outside, he seemed normal. Being abandoned by his father as a boy, however, he became obsessed with serial killers and he became desperate to taste human flesh. Before he became the Rottenborg cannibal, Armin posted online under various nicknames, including Frankie and Anthrophagus. At home, he remembered struggling as the new man of the house and he first played with the idea of eating his classmates as young as a schoolboy. He invented an imaginary brother who he called Frankie just so that he could share his cannibalistic thoughts with someone. According to the Irish Times, his fascination grew into adulthood but truly came to a head when his mother died in 1999. Armin now, he had free reign over the property that he lived in and he spent a year reading serial killer biographies. His urges grew when he found an online life with like-minded people. Armin posted on the Cannibal Cafe forum as Anthrophagus or Frankie and he actually found gay men with cannibalistic fetishes. Even though he met with several of these men in hotel rooms to roleplay the act, none of them actually agreed to go through with it. Armin even had to turn down one man because he wanted to be eaten to death. Armin thought that this was just weird. During uh, later sessions with police experts, Armin said that his desire for cannibalism related to the fairy tale Hansel and Gretel and developed during his teenage years. He had also described himself as feeling very lonesome after the family had fallen apart. When Armin's mother died when he was 39 years old, looking for a willing volunteer for his desires, Armin posted an online ad on the forum called The Cannibal Cafe, titled Dinner 
or your dinner, stating that he was looking for a well-built 18 to 25 year old to be slaughtered and then consumed. On March the 6th, 2001, he chatted with a user called Cater99, who said that he wanted his penis to be beaten off and to be killed. That user was Siemens engineer Bernd Hürgen Armando Brandes, and he was ready to be slaughtered. According to Harper's Magazine, he agreed to Army's proposal, which read in part, quote, After you're dead, I will take you out and expertly carve you up, except for a pair of knees and some fleshy trash, skin cartilage tendons, there won't be much of you left. I will dry out the knees and grind them up soon after. You won't be the last, hopefully. I've already considered catching a young person from the street. End of quote. Bernd, the 43-year-old engineer from Berlin, he answered this ad, just as did many other people, but eventually they ended backing out. Armin didn't really try to force any of them to do anything which was against their will. So after Bernd replied with interest, Armin agreed. Armin and Bernd would continue exchanging passionate messages online until March the 9th, when Bernd took the day off work. He sold all of his personal belongings, including a sports car, and he erased his hard drive before the big day. He bought a one-way ticket to Castle, where Armin was waiting to drive him to his house. In an interview later on, Armin said that the moment Bernd stepped off the train, Armin was nervous and excited at the same time. After stopping at the pharmacy for painkillers, the man arrived at Armin's house and, and they had sex. Bernd initially backed out of the agreement, but he then swallowed 20 sleeping pills, he drank cough syrup and a bottle of schnapps to go through with a plan and to numb the pain of the amputation, possibly causing him slowed breathing and extreme tiredness. Armin made sure to videotape the whole thing with Bernd saying, now do it. Bernd and Armin made a videotape when they met on 9th of March 2001 in Armin's home in the small town of Wüstfeld. The video shows Armin amputating Bernd's penis with his agreement and the two men trying to eat it together. Yes, actually trying to eat it together. Initially, Bernd insisted that Armin should try to bite his penis off. However, this didn't work and in the end, Armin used a knife to remove the penis. It seems that Bernd tried eating some of his own penis raw, but he couldn't because it was too tough and, as he said, chewy. But Armin found a solution. He fried the penis in a pan with salt, pepper, wine and garlic. Oh God, I can't believe I'm actually talking here about the penis. He then fried it with some of Bernd's fat, but by then it was just too burnt to be eaten. He then chopped the penis up into chunks and fed it to his dog. Yeah, great. Bernd allegedly only managed to gulp down one bite of his own penis. According to court officials who saw the video, which is not public, thank God for that, Bernd may already have been too weakened from blood loss to eat any of his own penis. So maybe this is not entirely accurate, you know. After all was done, Armin ran Bernd a bath before reading a Star Trek book while checking on him every 15 minutes. Throughout this entire time, Bernd, he was bleeding in the bath, drifting in and out of consciousness. In the early hours of the morning, after hesitation and after praying for Bernd to recover, Armin killed him by stabbing him in the throat as an act of mercy. He then hung the body on a meat hook to drain. This was recorded on a four-hour videotape, which, like I said, was never released to the public because of the gruesome contents of the tape. Armin dismembered the body on a butcher's block 
and he ate the body over the next 10 months, storing body parts in his freezer in meal-sized portions under pizza boxes and eating up to 20 kilograms or 44 pounds of the flesh. According to prosecutors, Armin committed the act for sexual pleasure. Armin actually spoke about his first meal. He said, quote, I decorated the table with nice candles. I took out my best dinner service and fried a piece of rump steak, a piece from his back, made what I call princess potatoes and sprouts. After I prepared my meal, I ate it, end quote. In a 2016 interview with The Independent, Armin said, The first bite was, of course, very strange. It was a feeling I can't really describe. I'd spent over 40 years longing for it, dreaming about it, and now I was getting the feeling that I was actually achieving this perfect inner connection through his flesh. The flesh tastes like pork, but stronger. While cannibalism wasn't a crime in Germany at the time, murder, of course, was. Armin kept his promise to burn and buried his skull and other inedible body parts in the garden. The four-hour video would be entered into evidence for one of Germany's most shocking post-war trials. Armin Mais was only arrested on 10th of December 2002. He continued to find victims online until an Austrian student reported him to the police after he saw new ads for victims online and who believed that the man living there killed and ate someone. On the morning of 10th of December, police made a visit to the isolated farmhouse acting on the tip-off. When they entered Armin's home, authorities found in the kitchen a false bottom in his freezer and pounds of flesh. Armin claimed that it was wild boar meat, but the officers also found the footage of his killing the four-hour video, remember? Armin was diagnosed with a schizoid personality, but he was deemed fit to stand trial. According to court testimonies, Armin's victim, Bond had a secret obsession with sexual mutilation. Victor Serrano, Bond's ex-boyfriend, told the court that Bond offered him the equivalent of 3,300 pounds to bite off his penis. They had met in 1998 through an ad in a Berlin magazine in which he offered his services as a Caribbean boy. During their three years relationship, they had sex at least twice a week and Bernd quickly expressed his desire, his desire to be mutilated. Victor told the court, quote, Bernd kept urging me to bite off his penis. He always achieved orgasm when I placed my teeth around it. He wanted to be beaten everywhere, but the penis was his fantasy, his obsession. He offered me money, some 10,000 Deutschmarks, end of quote. Victor said that Bernd's obsession with being mutilated led him to end his relationship around one year before Bernd was killed. Bernd, who worked as a software programmer for the German electronics company Siemens, led a double life according to court documents. Alexandra R., a 30-year-old Berlin taxi driver, told the court that she met him in October 1996 and they started a relationship, intending to get married and even to have children. She said that he was the nicest man that she ever met, always happy and joking. But their relationship ended just six months later after Bernd came out as homosexual. They stayed in contact until three days before he disappeared. She said that she could not imagine that he deliberately went to that place to have his penis cut off and then be eaten. Rene J., who lived with Bernd in Berlin at the time of the killing, said that he had no idea that his partner went to Rothenburg or that he had secret sexual desires. Inflicting pain was never an issue in their relationship because Rene didn't like it. Rene said that shortly before his death, Bernd bought a new TV 
and kitchen equipment for their Berlin apartment. But after his death, he discovered a will made out to him. He had no idea that Bernd went to meet Armin. During his early life, Bernd attended school in Essen and he lived alone with his domineering mother at a remote farmhouse. Bert told Zeeberg, a former school friend, said that as a child, Bernd was intimidated by his mother. What his mother said was law. She wasn't like other mothers. When Bernd was 15 years old, he went to a party wearing his mother's wig and a floral dress. He was so perfectly made up to look like a woman that no one actually recognized him. Bernd later told Berthold that he was confused over his sexuality. He admitted to him at a party in 2000 that he was receiving emails from someone who wanted to know whether he was ripe for slaughter. Berthold told the court, quote, I got goose pimples. I thought, what kind of perverts communicate on the internet with, with each other like that? Bertolt became more concerned by Burns' behavior after visiting his farmhouse with his wife later that year after Burns' mother had died. Bertolt's wife told him that all the upstairs rooms were soiled with cat excrement. Other rooms were packed with old computers and a safe, but his mother's room was immaculate. Her dressing gown and slippers were laid out next to the bed. It was as if she could return any minute. Bernd showed a couple of film on the internet depicting road accident victims with their arms and their legs missing, which caused his wife to feel sick. One year later, Bertold found out that his childhood friend was the Rottenberg cannibal. My whole body shook when I heard the news, he told the court. On 30th of January 2004, Armin Miles was convicted of manslaughter and he was sentenced to eight years and six months in prison. The case attracted considerable media attention. When speaking to a German newspaper, Armin admitted cannib cannibalizing Bernd and expressed regret for his actions. He said that he wanted to write a biography with the purpose of stopping anyone who was looking to follow in his footsteps. Websites dedicated to Armin started appearing after his 2002 arrest with people advertising for willing victims. About these ads, Armin said that they should go for treatment so it doesn't escalate like it did with him. While in prison, Armin actually became a vegetarian, if you can believe that. He believes that there are about 800 cannibals in Germany. In, 2000, in April 2005, a German court ordered a retrial after prosecutors appealed Armin's sentence, arguing that he should have been convicted of murder because he killed for sexual gratification, a motive proved by him having videotaped the crime. The court ruled that the original trial ignored the significance of the video in disproving the argument that Armin only killed because he was asked to kill. At the retrial, a psychologist stated that Armin could reoffend as he still had fantasies about devouring the flesh of young people. On 10th of May 2006, a court in Frankfurt convicted, convicted him of murder and sentenced him to life imprisonment. Professor Michael Babel, director of the Institute of Sexology and Sexual Medicine, suggests that Armin displays a highly specific form of fetishism where his desire for attachment and comfort is achieved by contact to the, to the fetish. In the case of Armin, the fetish is male flesh from a person that he knows and likes and who voluntarily wants to be eaten by him. As of 2020, Armin has been allowed to go outside of prison for supervised trips in disguise around town in a different state. In prison, he works at the laundry and often attends church service.
he is now around 62 years old. In 2023, Armin's former home burned down in what is suspected to be an arson attack. Two juvenile suspects are under investigation, but no arrests have been made. Armin Mice ate a total of 44 pounds of human flesh and as far as I'm aware, cannibalism is still legal in Germany to this day but of course that killing someone in order to eat them is not so if I'm honest I'm not entirely sure how this could be achieved I mean in order to eat somebody you would have to have them dead which means that you would basically have to kill them in order to eat them but then killing is not legal then if you would for example you know get hold of a dead body that and eat them that would be desecrating the body which is again illegal then if you would uh, get somebody out of their grave again it's illegal so i'm not sure how that can be achieved although i don't even want to find out and anyway believe it or not cannibalism is still legal in a lot of countries around the world did you know that Please guys let me know in the comment section down below for now. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.